Tonight, Charles Grodin comes to terms with a pain a lot of sports fans will recognize. This past weekend, the baseball season mercifully came to an end for my team, the New York Mets. We had a terrible year. Yesterday, our manager was fired. Even though many experts picked us to go to the World Series, we finished last, and it hurts. Some people take all of this very seriously, and I'm definitely one of them. It feels like a condition. Last week, I went to former manager Bobby Valentine's Sports Cafe in Stamford, Connecticut, to talk to some other Met fans to see if they shared my feelings about this terrible season. They did. We didn't want to open up the paper. Our hopes were built up, and then they were dashed. It just can't be happening like this. It's like watching a train wreck. You don't want to see it happen. Yeah. I'm hurt. You do. I'm hurt. Yeah. It's My happened. heart hurts for them. It really does. My heart breaks for them. It's devastating. It's devastating. It's terrible. It is. It's a horrible thing. This Met fan started as a Brooklyn Dodger fan, and when the Dodgers lost to the Yankees in the World Series... I cried like a baby. You cried. Oh. The father passed his feelings on to his son. Well, you take it to heart. You take it to heart. Well, why? Loyalty. This couple postponed their wedding because they didn't want to be away on their honeymoon and miss seeing their beloved Mets in the World Series. Instead, they watched them finish last. It was a kick in the stomach. And you can't sleep. You can't sleep. And it stays with you for days. It does. How did this happen? What's going on? They're dead. So there's, there's a loss. I once asked a sports psychiatrist why so many of us are like this. He said a lot of people have to connect with something bigger than themselves, like a sports team, because no matter what they accomplish in life, it wouldn't be enough to satisfy their ego needs. So while I have my strong emotional reaction, my only solace as a sports fan is happily, I'm not in this group who really care about their team. You have to wonder about their ego needs. <laughs> I'm Charlie Rose. We'll be back next Wednesday with another edition of 60 Minutes 2. Now here's Leslie Stahl with a look at what's coming up Friday on 48 Hours Investigates.